something that we're always uh, looking for is uh, always like, how do I teach that better? How do I, what, what can I use to that yeah, that will engage my students? What can, what can I use that to fuel their sense making at a deeper level? In this video, we've got a new tool that uh, we've been using that we are loving. We want to share it with you. Here we go. Hey there, Math Moment, because John here from Make Math Moments. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do hit that bell, hit that uh, subscribe button so that you get notified when we have new videos come out. We're doing this weekly now here on this platform. Well, in this video, we're going to share with you a tool uh, that we uh, love. We love this tool. We've been, uh, uh, it's kind of been floating around, but we were recently introduced to it. So you, maybe you already know about this one, uh, but it's one that uh, has got our heads turning. I want to showcase it uh, for you uh, just right now. Here we go. Uh, right here behind me, it is called Mathagon's Polypad. Yeah, Mathagon has a bunch of stuff uh, for, for free to use. Uh, and one of the tools that we're loving right now from Mathagon is their Polypad, um, free to use, and and it's got it's a digital manipulative whiteboard which has some really great features. I want to walk through just short this uh, this short video, just a couple of those features right here. So, uh, no, just a, just a quick intro. If you go to Mathagon's website, right, they got a whole bunch of free stuff here, some some great resources for teachers. Uh, if you up in here, you just head to Polypad, boom. You, you're into the whiteboard space. It's a digital whiteboard we're using with our students. We're using it uh, to make things uh, and share with students. It's got all the great features uh, that we know and love uh, on how to use it to, with your students. Uh, I made a free account up here uh, so uh, so that I can save stuff and I can share it with my classes, uh, share it with my students. You can share these things out once you make them. Um, and then also you can see what kids are doing on the back end. Yeah, that's, that's always something that we can do. We love doing uh, with sharing things out, right? Seeing what comes in from the student screens. We'll do that a little bit later. Um, but here, I just want to show you some of the tools that uh, Mathagon's got for us. There's some really nifty stuff happening over here. So uh, I'm going to, uh, you know, like a, a typical, they got, they got the base 10 blocks. Uh, what I'm loving about the base 10 blocks is some of the, some of this dynamic stuff, right? So if you come in here and you, you look at, uh, you look at, you know, your, your, your base, your, your, your 10 group here. Uh, what I'm loving is that in some of the, some other, um, some other, uh, you know, digital manipulatives, like there's, they're not, the flexibility is built into this. It's like, it's like designed for you to do what you need to do. Like if I want to split those up, it's like, boom, I'm going to split them up. Now they're individual. Um, and then you can move them around. Um, that's just the base 10 blocks. Um, I want to look at a couple of, like, look at, we've got number frames. Uh, we've got number cards. You can customize the number, which will be whatever you want. You want number 78, you've got it. Um, they've built in prime factor circles. Look at look at the beauty of what they've done here with Dan Finkel's prime. You know, if you've, you're a fan of Dan Finkel's prime climb game, uh, you know that he has designed certain circles in the game uh, based off the factors. Like if you take a factor six here, look at watch this. This is a beautiful thing about how they've designed this. Is that if once I have six here, if I want to take that out look at that it decomposed it decomposed six into those two factors and watch if i join them up boom i've just multiplied two by three to get six like look at how flexible and beautiful that that is right there now look at down here i can customize uh if i want uh tile 57 or, or circle 57 you know and if i drag those on top it makes the combined fa uh, the combined product and it has the factors. So notice I've got two factors of three, I've got one factor of two, and I've got a factor of 19. Like all those combined is making up the product of 342. Like, like that is so nifty, uh, so nifty. There's lots of stuff we can do there. Uh, check out these dot arrangements. So if I click a couple of these dot arrangements, like this is pretty cool too. They are also very, uh, very dynamic. Uh, and so notice if I've got here and I've got these two groups of two, right? So we got these dot circles, two groups of two, great for supertizing, great for multiplication. I can drag one out and now I've got 
I've got them. But if I put them back together, can I, oh, yep, yeah, boom. And then if I put this one in there, boom, look at that. I've got these different multiples happening here. Uh, really cool, really dynamic stuff that uh, you've got full creative control over here. And and what I love also about this, this program here is, right, if I put a dot circle uh, or a circle arrangement or a dot arrangement on here, and I want the prime, you know, the prime, I can put them all in the same one. Like I can come down here to fractions and look at the fraction bars and I can put a fraction bar out all on the same screen, right? I don't have to go from screen to screen. It's, it's all there and I can zoom out, I can zoom in. It's almost like I got this infinite white space to work with. Uh, really cool stuff here. Uh, in our one of our other past videos, we talked about cross multiplication, and we used uh, Mathagon and some of the the uh, fraction stripped ideas to show uh, show how dynamic the fraction strips are. I'm going to jump down to algebra. I'm um, teaching grade nine this year. Uh, I'm going to be using the algebra tiles quite quite frequently, and they've got the algebra tiles uh, right in here. So you'll notice I've got an x squared. If I have a neg negative x squared, and you know, if you are an algebra tile user, you know how all of this is working uh, for factoring, for adding like terms, for simplifying expressions, all that great stuff. But here's what I'm loving about the the algebra tiles. Like if I've got uh, an x squared and it's opposite, right? And if I combine them, I make zero. Like There's the zero principle happening right there. Like if I take one thing and then add its opposite together, adding means, you know, group them together here, and it makes a, a zero. And what what I'm really loving is that they don't disappear, right? They just don't like, psh, they get removed from the screen. That zero sticks around. And I'm really loving that the zero sticks around because we can see different zeros. And then we go, hey, why is that zero there? Oh, right. We put those two opposites together to make that zero. So they've got some really great tools here. You can go to graphing tools. You've got uh, of, you know all of the, the big strands all up in here uh, to use for lots of digital uh, digital uh, um, manipulatives for you to use in your classroom. We're using this also to take pictures of, right? So if I if I come back to if I come back to the numbers and the dot arrangements, and I wanted to build uh, a picture to share with my students, um, maybe it's like a quick like, uh, what do you notice or what do you wonder? And I get rid of that one and I put in this one. And, and I'm asking my students some questions. I'm loving that I can just take a screenshot of this. So if I just go to the screenshot, I'm grabbing that picture. And now I can head on over to any other platform. Like I could head on over to my smart notebook platform and plop that picture in there. Um, or I could head to um, you know, uh, uh, another whiteboard service and plop it in there and we can write on it. Now you can write on this one too, which is which is really great if you've got a digital pen or a smart board up on on your walls you can be doing that as well um so i'm really loving that you can build stuff in here and then take screenshots of what you need now i was i did say i was going to share a couple other things here uh one is that if you have logged in and made your free account for teachers to make sure you've got a teacher account you can create a class and you can share these like i could save this screen right here save and then what i can do is i can uh let's say i save this one and then notice I can just I can just share this this link out if I like so that's pretty typical, and I could share that link out to uh, you know to my Google Classroom uh, or whatever I can change the access of only maybe only my students can see this one, um, and then what I can do is come over to class and I can assign it to my default class. So boom! I've just assigned it to my students, and then I'll see the copies uh, what my students uh, are doing all right here all for free, which is pretty pretty cool uh so we are loving this now i'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek of how it integrates with some of the stuff we're doing um, if i bring over the make math moments uh, .com tasks so our tasks website which has all of our lessons uh that we're sharing um i just want to uh, show you like for example because you could share things out if i click on our pythagorean theorem or our our triangle relationship problem here and i look at day one um if you look remember or if you check this out we ask kids to uh estimate uh or, or first notice and wonder what they notice about this square and this maybe interior or inscribed square but we do ask them to we do ask them to estimate how many of these little tiny things 
fit in here. And what you can do, uh, and we've been working with some of the folks over at uh, Mathagon, and what you can do is you could set up a pre-made, right? You can set up a pre-made Mathagon image, just like we had here, and send that to the kids, send that to their class. And then they can interact here, go, how many of these fit in here? Hmm, let me see. Like, they can do some nice estimating. We've got some more information here already. Um, and so you can be sharing that with them. A little later on in the activity, we have kids uh, try to figure out what is the relationship happening here? Like all of these squares, like do these, like what happens when I fill up this? Like one at a time that you can, nice thing here is you can grab a whole row uh, and then drag a whole row over and then rotate a whole row and try to fill up that space. Because what we love about this activity that we've been working on for, for the triangle relationships is that uh, when you rearrange the same diagram in this way, uh, these squares plus these squares fill up these squares. And then that's, we get to bump into that triangle relationship with the, uh, the areas of the squares. So we can send those documents out to kids. Um, we end up kind of building something that can help kids see that that relationship exists for lots of different uh, squares in this format. And then we can build the Pythagorean theorem uh, uh, when we connect all these strategies together. So that's that's Mathagon's Polypad. Uh, I just kind of did this quick tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. I didn't really walk through how to do all this stuff. I just wanted to share. Hey, if you've not yet seen this, get your hands on over there. Mathagon.org slash Polypad. Or you'll just hit the Polypad uh, link when you get there. That's uh, that's my my uh, my teacher dashboard uh, once I hit my Mathagon because I made a, a free account there. But Polypad brings you this nice white space. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up for, uh, with it. If you have played with this or have used it with your classroom, give me a comment below and let us know how that went. What'd you do? Maybe a, drop a link to a Polypad there for us to check out. Well, that's it for us uh, in this week's video, but uh, we are excited to uh, see what you come up with. If you have not yet subscribed, to us here. Do that, please, so you can see our next video. We're coming out with them weekly. And uh, have a great week, and we will see you next time.